Hello everyone and welcome back to Drawing with Paolo. Today, after the complexity of Superman, we're going to draw the simplicity of half a lemon. So here's my first lemon shape and we're going to clear that up later on. And then we're going to do our half a lemon right over here. And yes, this is another special request. It's half a lemon. So here's our half. And it's another circular shape but with a really tight cut off onto the side here. We're going to erase this stuff here inside. We don't need that. And this part here, we'll get rid of that too. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to start drawing the front face of our lemon half here, just by drawing an oval like this. And then we have to give the, the back shape here a little bit darker line. And this lemon has to look like a lemon, so let's remodel it. We'll remodel it a little bit by giving it a lemon outline. So there's a little bit of a belly button on either end. This one is a bit flatter, I would say. And this goes around like that an Audi belly button, and then it comes down right here behind the front lemon. There we go, that's not bad. Just like that. So I'm satisfied with those lines. I'm going to get rid of the lines here that we don't need anymore, get rid of that. And we're going to start drawing the thickness. You know there's a white part around uh, the edges of the lemon when we cut it in half, and this is what the white edge is right here. But then you see all this stuff in here, we have to clean that up. So what I do is I take my pencil eraser, and I will erase uh, the lead that is in there. It's not lead anymore, it's graphite, I think. And we'll get rid of those pencil lines. There we go. And we'll retrace now that thickness to a nice edge, just like that. All right. So now we need to draw the middle, which is sort of like a star. And here's the star shape. It can look like an explosion if you want, or uh, like in comic books when somebody gets punched. That, that shape that they get there. And then from here, we've got some uh, lines coming out. From each one of those little spikes comes a line, sort of like a bicycle wheel. And these lines go all the way out to the edge. And this will help us then in determining, I'm gonna add one more like this, will help us in determining where we need to curve the, uh, the flesh of the lemon inside there. So for each one of these lines, we need to curve the top like this. There we go, two, three, or you can make as many as you like or as few as you like, but a lemon has a good number of uh, lines like that. The lemon wedges inside there are just like an orange or a clementine. All right, awesome. Now we can get rid of all these little spikes here, and then I'm going to do it with one swipe of my hand. Boom, gone, you see? So now all we're left with is those curved spikes, and we don't have that uh, circular shape we had in there in the first place. That foundation line is now gone. I've taken the time to erase every one of those little points. And now I'm going to retrace the wedges inside here and make sure that I leave a little bit of a thickness there if I can. It's a little difficult, but here I'm going to try it a little bit better. Make you see. There we go. See, we need a little bit of a thickness there because that's the white part of the flesh as well that we can see when we cut a lemon in half. And if you have lemons at home, go ahead and try one out. Uh, cut it in half and Draw what you see. That's the best way to learn how to draw, is draw by actually paying attention to your environment and drawing what's around you. All right, so we're going to now color in a little bit of detail here of this piece. And we're going to color in each one of these wedges, just a really light gray, barely applying any pressure to my uh, pencil here. Very lightly adding gray to it. There we go. I'm, I'm trying to leave a little bit of white spots here and there so we can get the idea that it's, this flesh is sort of transparent. Uh, transparent. All right, these lines we're going to clean up. One fell swoop, there we go. And then we're going to just retrace the outline here. A little bit darker. All right, this to a certain, a certain degree are still foundation lines. I'm gonna make them a little bit darker so we can see them better. But here, I wanna draw thickness later on. So you'll understand what we're gonna do in a few seconds. So, okay, see this edge here and this edge here? You wanna erase that so that we can see the, the lemon skin wrapping around the side edge of our lemon half here. So see this line has to go all the way across and all the way around following the outer edge of our lemon that we cut. There we go. So that gives the idea that the skin is coming around. Now the light's coming this way or that way. We can choose. We'll go this way. And so we're going to color in uh, the lemon on this side, fully shading it in gray. 
and then we'll create a gradient from the middle half down. And same thing for this one. We'll use the same grade. And I'm using a technique that avoids the half of a lemon that I've drawn already. It's using my little finger applied on the piece of paper, and the rest of my hand is not touching the board at all. So, And that way I'm not going to smudge my lemon. And I'm not, not using the paper technique yet. I'll do that a little, little bit later. So there's our lemons colored in. Now, as I said, from this part all the way down, it has to get darker and darker in a gradient because the light is coming from the top left, uh, top right, pardon. So we're going to color this stuff in. And every layer will make the lemon darker and darker. And notice I'm using a, a crosshatch. Crosshatching means that my first lines will be, let's say, from left to right, and my second lines will be light, uh, right to left. And it sort of plugs up those white holes on the paper and makes my uh, color here darker and darker. I'm going to go back in a zigzag line, zigzag pattern, and until the lemon here gets darker and darker towards the bottom. Each layer making it darker as we go. All right. Now we're going to add some detail to these lemon uh, slices here, lemon wedges. We're going to add you know, you can see that there's little circular parts in the flesh there, so it's sort of like drawing bubbles or, or uh, water droplets, elongated fish scales, you know, whatever you want to call them. And it's just a little, adding a little bit of realism to our lemon piece here. All right, we're going to add a, a bit of detail into the white part. Maybe we slashed a little bit of it with our knife as we were cutting the lemon. Color the flesh on this side here, the skin. Add a bit of detail out around the edges. All right, now paper technique to protect my first lemon, the half, and we're going to color a gradient onto this lemon here. Now, as I said earlier, this is the is a real simple drawing today for all of you out there that are having a hard time with my Superman drawings or Vikings or knights in shining armor or Darth Mauls, well, this is supposed to help you just get control of your pencil and also allows you to draw real objects and not so much superheroes. But the whole point here is getting control of that pencil. And you're still using lights and shadows and all those really good things that you need to apply everywhere, essentially, in drawing. I'm going to color this in and make this a little bit darker. All the way up. That. There we go. Make this a little bit darker here in the corner. Those lemons are touching each other, so there's not much light that can get in between them there. And then we're going to erase, using our pencil eraser here, we're going to erase the texture of the lemon. There are little bumps on the lemon everywhere, it's sort of like a, a golf ball. So my bumps might be a little bit big because I'm using this. Uh, rather larger eraser. Uh, the eraser head is sort of big, but if you have a smaller eraser at home, you'll get the perfect detail. In my case, it won't be too bad. It'll give the idea. I'm going to spot this all over, all the way around. So what I am doing in this case is I am removing graphite. Right? We're not we're not painting anything here. We're just erasing the colors that we've drawn in, or the tones anyway. All right. I'm going to retrace the outline here a little bit better. And then we're going to add a drop shadow in a few minutes. I want to make this even darker. Here. Now that's what's fun about drawing. You keep adding stuff as you go on. It's all, you can always change this stuff. All right, drop shadow time. And this is the last thing we're going to do. So we need to trace the outlines of those shapes sort of as if they were hitting a tabletop. I'm going to color that in. A nice uh, regular gray all the way in. Everywhere the same. And the tabletop. Well, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching Drawing with Paolo. See you next time on another episode.